when you see that many people are 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 saying the same thing, one should not assume that these are independent observations. They're all tight, often tightly coupled by the fact that we're all subject to massive amounts of information and influence from newspapers, radio, magazines, and movies. But let me ask you a slightly different question because your research in this area, which was so effective, was to show that you could impute memories in, in people effectively. Maybe you want to give an example or two of that. Well, uh, uh, for the rich false memories, okay, yeah. well, the, I'll tell you about the first study we did. I mean, the first thing, I knew I, I knew what I wanted to do. I wanted mm. to not just change a little detail, but create an entire memory. So first I had to decide what what memory should I plant in the minds of these subjects? And as you well know, you know, you're doing research with human subjects. You have to go through the, the yeah. human subjects mm. committees, the ethics committees. So I knew that my university committee was not going to take too kindly to a proposal to, I'm going to make people <laughs> believe that their father raped them in a satanic <laughs> ritual. So I needed some kind of analog. What was it going to be? Uh -huh. Took couple of years, actually, of chewing on this with grad students and whoever else I could to come up with the idea, um, let's, something that would be at least mildly traumatic if it had actually happened. And that's when we decided we're going to plant a false memory that when you were five or six years old, you were lost in a shopping mall with certain family members there, you know, you were lost for an extended time. You were rescued by an elderly person, reunited with a family, and that's that's how we're going to do it. Hmm. And the way we did it, well, if I were going to do this to you, I would say, Lawrence, um, you know, I had a conversation with your your mother about your childhood. I I just uh, spoke to her uh, when she was in Palm Springs, and she 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 told me some things that happened to you when you were about five or six years old. Not, I want to ask you about those things. If you don't remember what she told us about, just say. But if you do remember, let's hear what you remember. Then I'd present you with three true memories, mm -hmm. things that your mother really uh. told me did happen to you, and then a completely made-up experience about how you were lost in a mall or if you grew up where there were no malls, then you were lost in a Sears department store or J.C. Penney's or wherever, some big yeah. pl public place. Um, by the time we were done with three s suggestive interviews, we, we had a quarter of these ordinary adults fall sway to the suggestion and remember all or part of this made-up experience. So wow. that was my first clue that you could get people to develop these very, what we now call rich, false memories. It, the study got criticized even before, oh my God, even <laughs> before uh, we published it. I presented it at a professional meeting. It got a little publicity. Uh -huh, yeah. And the, um, the, the, the critic, the, the therapist could see where we were going yeah. with this. And they started to attack it. They, they said, wait a minute, getting lost is so common. Uh -huh. At least show us you can plan a false memory for something that would be more unusual, uh -huh. more upsetting, more bizarre, if it had happened. So other scientists came along, and we too contributed to this growing literature, planning a false memory that uh, when you were a kid, you nearly drowned and had to be rescued by a lifeguard. When you were a kid, you were attacked by a vicious animal. When you were a kid, you witnessed somebody being demonically possessed. <laughs> um, that's when I looked into the exorcist oh, and the impact it had. Uh, when you were an, a, a Canadian study, when you were um, a teenager, you committed a crime, and it was serious enough the police actually came to investigate. All of these have been done now and published in top peer-reviewed journals and uh, show that it is possible to take ordinary people and infect them 